In this video, we're going to look at audio storage requirements. Before you begin a recording session, you should always make sure that your system has enough available storage space for the project. The amount of required storage space will vary depending on the sample rate, bit depth, and of course the complexity of the session. As we've previously discussed, Pro Tools can record at sample rates ranging from 44.1 kHz all the way up to 192 kHz. And in Pro Tools 10 or later, supported bit depths include 16-bit, 24-bit, or even 32-bit floating point. Here are some examples of typical sample rate and bit depth combinations and the amount of storage that they require. As you can see, increasing either the sample rate or the bit depth will increase the amount of required disk space for each audio file. Be sure to keep this in mind when deciding the ideal sample rate and bit depth for your project. It's a great idea to use the disk space window in Pro Tools to keep track of the amount of storage space you've used and how much is remaining. You can access this window by going to the Window menu and choosing Disk Space. In the Disk Space window, you can see the names of my mounted volumes, the total size of the volume, how much space is available for recording, and the percentage that that represents. You also get a really useful indicator of how many track minutes that available space will give you at your session's current sample rate and bit depth. And on the far right side, you can see a handy meter that gives you a visual representation of how much space you've used and how much you still have available.